Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You okay? You okay? Yeah. Made it through with just uh, a couple of scraped knees back then. Back then? What do you say? We doing this? Have we? Never mind about that. Right now, you need to focus on yourself. Move something. Anything. Why not? Good. Easy does it. Slow. And steady. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. Uh, who are you? <laughs> who are you? I am your everything. There's still so much to be done. Maybe you're not okay. Ah, he lives. Finally awake, are we? You're... Aerith. It's Aerith. And you are? Cloud. Nice to meet you again. Again, huh? What? You don't remember? What about the flowers? Oh, the flower girl. And this is... An old church in the Sector 5 slums. You came crashing through the roof without so much as a lookout below. <laughs> Fell right into my flower bed. Lucky for you. Like, really? Oh, oh, s sorry, I, I didn't mean to- Don't worry about it. They're a lot tougher than they look. This place, it has a kind of power. Before I forget, you dropped this when you landed. Thanks. I've got one, too. You, and everybody and their mother. Not like mine, no. It's special. Mine's not good for anything at all. Bet you just don't know how to use it. Could be. Though, I really don't mind. Just having it is enough. It was a gift from my mother. Pretty crazy, huh? Us meeting again like this. You should stay a while. <gasps> really? You will? In that case... Huh? I'll see myself in. Thanks. Mm. And who are you? He's my bodyguard. And a soldier. Pretty cool, huh? Huh? A soldier? Ex-soldier. Well, what do you know? You've got the eyes, at least. <sighs> you don't mind, do you? Bodyguard work's not too different from merc stuff, right? Huh? Uh, I guessed. From the sword. Just do this for me, okay? <sighs> Fine, but it'll cost you. A lot. A lot, huh? One date ought to do it. Huh? Huh. Well, you're weird enough to be one. What class? <laughs> First. <laughs> if you're gonna bullshit me, at least try to make it believable. <laughs> hey, watch the flowers! You heard the lady. <laughs> I'll make this quick. You better. Bodyguard, huh? Oh, it was too bright. Really? Shit, this is the first I heard of it. This is just a costume. I don't think so that long. counts. Hey, little help in here, guys? It 
it's over. Good old what's his face. Hold me down. I can't do it with Nina, but... I'm damn good at it!
I'll go first. Come on. Nothing! Up there! Hey, no shooting! You okay? Probably. Or maybe not. If there's so much as a scratch on her, you're done. Sir! We bring her in, in one piece. <laughs> what now? <laughs> Run! <laughs> Move and I'll shoot! Oh no you won't. But sir! Could drop that. Okay. What's the hold up? I can't get to her. In the attic, should we pursue? <sighs> but, sir, partners got it. We are out. <clears throat> Beginner's luck. More of those things. It's like they're guiding us. Stay close. <gasps> so cool. Huh. Stay ahead of him. Prep for Exville. Or not. <sighs> they gone? Yeah, I think so. What are they? I think. Actually, I don't know. Let's just go. Okay. Up for crossing the rooftops? See that pillar over there? There's a station right by it. Shall we mosey on over? Let's. So, what's next for you? A little bit of bodyguard work. <laughs> right. After that, Back to the Sector 7 slums. You know how to get there? 
Yep. Of course you do. That suit from earlier. He was one of Shinra's Turks. What's a Turk want with you? Dunno. Hey, don't Turks keep an eye out for potential soldiers and stuff? They do more than just scout for candidates. Turks get called in to handle all kinds of situations, with extreme prejudice. <laughs> Professional bad guys. Gotta love them. Back to my question. So what's he to you? Looked like you knew each other. Maybe he thought I could be the greatest soldier yet. Forget it. Hmm? You mad? surprised if you had it's honestly kind of exciting well first time and all of a soldier candidate? So petty. So, does no one live in these buildings? Nope. No one to get mad if we make noise. Looks kind of rusty. I'll go first. It's pretty old. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> Easy now. You worry too much. I'm not some princess who needs to be coddled. Shit. Thank you, Cloud. <sighs> ah, there it is. The wall. You know, I thought about leaving once, but in the end, I couldn't. Too dangerous? Too much. A whole world bursting with life. Maybe more than I can handle, I think, sometimes. Even now. People hate the steel sky, the slums, but I don't. How could I? All that passion, all those dreams, flowing and blending together into something greater. I'll go first. After all, I can't count on you to wait. Sure about this? See for yourself. Hmm, maybe I'll go on ahead and leave you all by your lonesome. Just... Uh -huh. Maybe you shouldn't talk. Then you talk. 
tell me a story. Not for free. Cheapskate, you're... Ah! 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 Oh. Ah! 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 Huh. Gotcha. You're killing me here. Here goes nothing! Compliment? Uh, not really. <laughs> Thanks anyway. We're getting closer to the station. Even so, we'll probably run into a few monsters. There's on the way. There's a face that screams, so what? Eh, I fought scarier things in my sleep.
I'll protect you. I'm... Pretty good at protecting myself, you know. One more shot! That'll do! So, Cloud, you don't know the slums that well, do you? Compared to you? No. Training grounds, barracks, battlefields. That's the world I know. You sound proud of that. This is happening. If you would all just please calm down. Hey, what the hell's going on? Out, Come Mom. on. There's no need to shout. Popular place. Yeah. Well, it's got a good view of the reactor. It's on fire! In a show. They know that. Don't worry. Oh, didn't expect to see you here. Huh? Yeah. Oh, on your way home from the church? That's right. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Did any debris hit the church? Not debris. No, that's something at least. But you may not be so lucky next time. Hey. Whoa, Lady, how was the inspection? Didn't have the staff. Sorry. Turk. A real man on a mission. On the hunt, more like. For me? For you? Don't know. Don't care. Then, let's stick to the back streets? Ah. There will be monsters. Better than Shinra. There's a Shinra dump site up ahead. Not the kind of place anyone would ever choose to hang around in. But a great place to lay low. They've got the run of it. I'll 
I'll take care of them. Let's start with the... instinctively target weaker prey. Hmm. You'd better watch out then, Cloud. <laughs> okay then. Let's do this. <laughs> See ya. Here goes. <laughs> it's over. That'll do. is a dead end. They were doing some construction, but quit halfway. Over here. Didn't work. Maybe it's broken? Pretty sure this path we're on loops around too, so. Hmm, wonder if we can move this. the stronger prey.
check it out. The heart of the slums. <laughs> Still a fair ways off. Well, we did take a detour. Getting tired? Nah. Me, I'm feeling a bit hungry. How about you? Amazed. You're in for a treat when we make it back. Don't have time for that. You'll want to make time for my mom's cooking. And that's the final word on it. We'll get home quick and eat ourselves stupid. Try to stay behind me. That way I can cover your back. Take the lead. Stop it! Hang back. That was it, please. Yeah. Deal with that. Go on! Think you're going? She kept sleeping. Keep it together. So it's my turn? from this side? Yeah, that 
should do the trick. Don't think it'll open. What to do? That gate just doesn't want to open, does it? Maybe there's a way to get over it? For you, at least. We're home free. No need for thanks. I'd rather get paid. Hmm? You're getting paid right now. Hmm? Huh? Oh. at us any time. Keep an eye out. So, do you think this means another The Sector 5 slums are right there. What are they watching? Uh, hey! hey. 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 You heard what they said on TV. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm standing inside the gutted shell of Mako Reactor mm -hmm. 5. Working for Wu Tai, isn't it obvious? See, there's still a lot Cowards of smoke rising using from the rubble. Spies, so they don't have to break While the fallen beams and other debris I'm continue to hinder rescue efforts, the fires to appear to have been mostly extinguished. So if we help catch the bombers, we get a reward uh, or there. something? Uh, that's Never the director of Kinra's it. Advanced Weaponry hey, Division, isn't enough it? Of that uh, doom excuse me, ma'am, but would you mind answering a few questions? They're targeting reactors. No Can you give us any updates on the status of the reactor? So what kind of damage could it suffer in the explosion? Bed. Are we in any danger? <sighs> Mako Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down, and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control, and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We're in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. These agents of the eco-terrorist group Avalanche are currently believed to be in hiding somewhere in Midgar. And uh, given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, can they really be stopped before they strike again? What do you think? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> Have no fear. Shinra will keep Midgar safe. Okay, time's up! Alright, let's go. We need to start preparing for the worst. Long might be the best place. Oh, uh, what timing. Mind lending me a hand? Place is really hopping, huh? Nice side effect of the train situation. So, what do you say? I'd love to, but... I help out every now and then. It's fun. Eris! Well, well. What are you doing all the way up there? Was trying to get a look at the reactor. 
Who's this guy? This is Cloud. He's a mercenary. And currently my bodyguard. That's Oats. See you. Two peas in a pod. What are you guys up to? We all went to see the reactor. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to come by the house. Uh, what for? I don't know. You're just supposed to. Well, guess we have a new destination. I should probably explain. The Leaf House is the local orphanage. That's where all these kids live. Hey, Aerith, where'd you go? The church again? Next time, we should all go together. Why, hello, Aerith. As popular as ever, I see. Apparently, but they sure keep me on my toes. <laughs> uh, better than being bedridden. Thanks again for all those herbs. You've helped a lot of people. No problem. Anytime. How'd you manage to find so many anyway? <laughs> oh, I have my ways. And him? He's my bodyguard. Just until I get home. And you're sure he's up to it? Hmm. Maybe. Since I'm so generous, I gather medicinal herbs for his patients sometimes. Yes. Here's the leaf house. There you are. We're back, and we brought Aerith with us. Sorry to make you come out here. Don't be. It's on my way home. Well then, I hope you won't mind me asking for some flowers. No problem. How many? All you can carry. What with all the doom and gloom we've been hearing on the news recently, I thought some flowers might help cheer everyone up. I'm sure they will, and I'd love to help. Let's all wash up before our meal. So, are you a friend of Aerith's? and I'm hungry. So, Cloud, what's your favorite flower? They're all the same to me. Huh. You sure you want to say that to a florist? Better than lying. Okay. Then what'd you do with the flower I gave you? I, uh... You give it away? I did. Ooh, to who? Tell me. Don't recall. Hmm? What? Thought you didn't like lying. <sighs> well, anyway. My house is just up this path. Mom should be home by now, so I'll introduce you. There you go. That's my house. It's amazing. <laughs> up to no good? Rude came by t So, this is my mom, Elmira. And this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Uh, hi. Take good care of her? That's my job. <laughs> or was my job. Yep, thanks. So, Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector 7? Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. 
Then why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you'd just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna go take Cloud over to Sector 7, okay? <sighs> okay. But why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to spare. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I still need to deliver some flowers to the Leaf House. Since we have a little time before dinner, you should come with. That wasn't the deal. You mean you want more? Even though you've got a priceless reward coming your way? Do you know what I promised him? I'll do it. <laughs> <sighs> I'll go grab the baskets. Be right back. <sighs> that Aerith. She's a handful, isn't she? It must be tough. No, never mind. Hmm. 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 That's weird. I could have sworn I put them here. Take this one. Huh? Uh, Take it. Uh, uh, hmm. uh, right. Off we go. <sighs> and these right here are my babies. be like that. I know you have an eye for this kind of thing. That's the one I gave you. Huh. It is? Nice try, mister. You can't fool me. I think we still need a few more. Which should we pick next? Good eye. People used to give these to declare their loyalty to one another. Interesting, right? She said, as many as you can carry, so maybe a few more? Whoa, foxtails, huh? I gotta hand it to you. I never would have thought of that. It'll definitely take them by surprise. I think we're good now. What do you say? Shall we go? No need to hurry. We're not under the gun or anything. I'm not cut out for this crap. Sure you are. And when you're done, you'll be drowning in job offers.
So, how do you think they'll arrange these flowers? Don't know. Well, we'll soon find out. I'll wait out here. Oh, okay. But I might be a while. Why not check out the town? Seeing the flavor you can't find anywhere else. That's so true. No one else can get their food. Most folks in the are catching up. Now you can handle yourself. Take care of my equipment, you hear? They won't target the snakes. I don't have all day. She's got a good heart. See ya. Cloud, I understand you must be busy, but I hope you haven't forgotten about my research. with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Cloud, I have the most amazing news. I believe I might know how to develop summoning materia, something heretofore thought impossible. Scientists say that this materia can only be found in nature, but I may just be able to prove otherwise. And so, Cloud, I turn to you. I would like to test this theory by way of my combat simulator. To wit, I want you to fight and defeat summon data in VR. I sense that you find my phrasing to be somewhat... obtuse. Please let me know when you have made your preparations. Gramps has been feeling a lot better since we've mm -hmm. heard about what happened. Later. This is enough to keep anyone up. Man. On my front door. I've got the finest collection of materia you'll find anywhere. I knew you had a keen eye. Is something wrong? 
You could say that. Sounds like someone spooked the kids. Yeah, two of them disappeared. They ran away after this creepy guy wearing black clothes showed up. A Turk? That's what I thought, but no. It's this guy who's always stumbling around town in a dirty robe full of holes. They say he's sick or something. Oh, and he had some kind of number tattooed on his arm. I don't like the sound of this. I'm gonna check it out. I know someone who fits that description. I'll come with. Okay. Come on. limits to grown-ups, but if we want to rescue them, well, we gotta break the rules. Oats! You're back! Eret's come to help. Yeah, leave it to us. We'll take care of it from here. But there are monsters out there! Don't worry. I've brought a super strong friend along with me. I used to be a soldier. So where's the guy? I don't know. He disappeared and we can't find him. Right now, let's worry about the kids. Come on. This way. Be careful. Where do you think they went? Who knows? They're kids. Nothing to do but look all over. <laughs> I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? <laughs> You'll see. They're <laughs> hurt. This one's for you. Go on. I'm waiting. One more shot! <sighs> Moving on then. Let's go. 
try to stay behind you. That way I can cover your back. <laughs> Quickly, we gotta save them. All right. Get him! That's that. Huh. 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 Huh.
Mr. Popular. That was so cool, you guys. Especially that... Oh, yeah. yeah, it was really cool when you went like... Yeah, yeah. You got it all wrong. Like that. No way. It was way faster than that. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Fine. Then how about... Yeah, yeah. Like that. Isn't that right, Cloud? Come on! 
Tiefer! Tiefer! Tiefer. Tiefer? What's wrong? Nothing. Is Tifa like your girlfriend? No. Hmm, but she's someone special. It's not like that. More like... I don't know how to explain. I see. Thank you. From now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? Okay, I will. And here, since you're so cool, you guys are both grown-ups, but you're also one of us now. You can come and play here whenever you want. Similar. Huh? There's the number, but why two? Who knows? Come to think. <laughs> the reunion. Sephiroth is. Do you? Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Maybe they did. But I've got a feeling he's still alive. Oh, right. Come on, let's go. What? <laughs> My dad told me that that man, he used to be a soldier when he was younger. I heard he came back because he got sick or... Isn't that kind of weird? Can soldiers even get sick? You can't catch me! Wait! Stop running away from me! Well, what do you think? Do I have what it takes for helping our friends? My dad told me that that man, he used to be a soldier. Hey Cloud, I know a lot of people around here need help. When I'm out on patrol, a lot of them tell me about their problems. Do you think you might be interested in helping out? Well, I'm all for it. We still have plenty of time. I'm on the clock. Don't worry, I give you permission. I always have the latest information. Come find me if you want to know. There's a lot of problems we can't fix because we're just kids. And that's where you come in. Oh my, is that a Moogle? You can see me, Koopo? Then you two must be very, very special people. In that case, welcome to the Moogle Emporium. I'm the owner, Moggy. You must not be familiar with Mog the Moogle. It's a pretty famous fairy tale. Mog wanted to bring happiness to all the Moogles of the forest. So he decided to open a shop of wonders. That's right, Koopa. I open a store to bring happiness to the slums, like Mog. And you know, only people with the purest of hearts can even see Moogles. Uh, are you talking about me? Well, Moogle magic isn't perfect, Koopa. Anyway, we've collected all kinds of rare and wondrous goods. They can be yours if you've got enough Moogle medals. But they'll need to buy a membership first. If you find any Moogle medals, you can spend them here, Koopa. So, Moggy, what do you do with the medals we give you? Oh, you know what? I use them to make everyone happy. 
That's the duty of every Moogle. Of course, just like Mog the Moogle. I see you're working hard, Mr. Merc. Yep. So what are you gonna do next? Keep on working hard. As you always do, I'm sure. You know, this is how I earn a living. Huh? Really? I thought you were just doing it for fun. I suppose some people do. Hello, I'm some people. Nice to meet you. See anything you like? you mean it? Not until I'm happy. Go on, work your magic. Make me smile. From ear to ear. I'll need a lot more medals, Koopo. Well, that won't do. Come on, Cloud. Let's go get more. Good luck, guys!
shit. It's not gonna take his life now. You won't stop telling us stories about that game. Gramps has been feeling a lot better ever since he heard about what happened. Huh? Man. That's what's called easy money. Hi there, cute little doggy. Oh. You're that former soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? You look upset. Uh, yeah, I am pretty upset. The kids are still off doing patrols, even though it's now time for their lessons. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Is that a Leaf House thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands, that kind of thing. I don't suppose you've seen any of them, have you? Oh. You see, I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? Oh, that would be wonderful! There are five of them out on patrol right now. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. Hello, Cloud! Sir! It's a real honor to meet you! I think you soldier guys are awesome! I want to be strong and tough when I grow up, too! You sound very determined. These are dangerous times! The reactor blew up and a bunch of kids lost their friends and families! Who knows what might blow up next? I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. And I think the teachers are gonna have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers, Miss Foley is looking for you. Oh man, I completely forgot! I have to get back right now! Hey! Any marks to rent? Shinra weapons are on the rampage. Five of them, like floating eyeballs! I saw them wander off into the scrap, but if they come back into town, it'd be a disaster. We need someone who's willing and able to fight. I'll handle it. You will? Oh man, you're the best! I could hear them shouting intruder detected or some other nonsense when they floated off. Be careful, they look dangerous. So, do you think this means another war is coming? My very first Undercity Night. Out. Be cool. Sure, hope not. Yes, I gotta. Get ready. <laughs> See ya. Get him! Enough. That's that. Focus.
take the lead. I'll show you what I can do. Go on! Yeah. Need more magic. Can you take over for take me? Over. Always run no away, right? Yeah. 
Get ready. Get him! Enough! Ah! Shit. Need a light. Let's do this. Go on! No escape. Cut that's over. Let's go. Let us through, or else. <laughs> this one for you. Go on. I heard, I heard, you got them all, right? Robots from the reactor getting lost in the slums. Must be because of the explosion up top, huh? They must have thought they were protecting the reactor and figured I was trespassing on their turf or something. Maybe. Almost feel sorry for them, getting all lost and confused like that. Oh, what am I saying? Man or machine, Shinra bitches get what they deserve. Now hold on. Anyway, I think it's safe to say our work here is finished. If you're ever in the market for a Merc again, remember, you can count on Cloud. Uh, sure. And sorry about putting this on you all of a sudden. I'm really glad you were willing to help out, though. Thanks again. Actually, while you're here, I've got another favor to ask. There's this old guy who hangs out in front of the weapons shop. I think he might need your help. Would you mind talking to him? <sighs> Oh, you scared me. Hey there, how goes the patrol? I've been watching them really close. 
I'm trying to learn all about the business. You want to open up a shop of your own someday? Yeah, so I can earn lots of money and use it to help the house. The teachers don't like to talk about it, but we know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. Uh, but that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. I'd love to say something, but I don't work here. Oh, I know you. You must be that mercenary. I have a problem. It's the anniversary of my wife's death, and I wanted to visit her grave. But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine, that's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think we did. If you don't look out for yourself, no one else will. That's a lesson for life from the ground floor. See you soon. Fire was declared five years ago. The scars are still hey. fresh. Looking for a new weapon? As the children we interviewed Hey there. How goes the patrol? Great! I've been picking up garbage and giving people directions. Plus, I helped an old lady cross the street. You've been busy. It's a normal day for me. Gotta work hard. The house depends on people's donations. Oh no! I'm late! Did you see Miss Folia? Is she mad? Oh, I gotta go! I'm sorry! My lights have been on. Got any spare machine parts? Hey! Hey! So, do you think this means a lot? Turning back. Get ready. Let's do this. Stay back. Let's start with it.
All good. We've got to get through this. That's it! <laughs> Okay? Go on! <laughs> Sorry, but Fight you were right. trying but... grateful for what you did. Here's your reward. I owe him a lot, maybe more than I can ever repay. And now I owe you a lot too. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife, and we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying, and then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. <laughs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. <sighs> it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? It feels good to help people out, doesn't it? Yeah. You having fun yet? Heaps. Then you can't be afraid to show it more. Don't forget, it's all about service and salesmanship. I'll leave that to you. All right, but don't think you can rely on me forever, mister. Wasn't planning to. That's good. Cause I command a very good salary. Money. That's all you kids think about. I may as well keep working till the day I die. You're a real dick, you know that? But on the bright side, it seems he's all fired up again. people on the streets than usual. Maybe because the reactor blew up? Well, you've been keeping a very sharp lookout. But don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Foley of Lessons! I gotta get back to the house! Let's try it! I wanna make something just like it! Wow! 
You're that soldier, right? Can I ask you a super important question? I heard bad people broke the Mako reactor, and there's gonna be another war because of it. Is that true? Who knows? But isn't there something else you should be worrying about right now? <gasps> I forgot about Miss Folia's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! That's everyone. Let's go back to the house. Now listen to me. Flowers! Lovely, don't you think? Great job. That's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking toward your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. I'm very The children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. <laughs> you guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's gotta be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh, yeah, real easy. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money! The Watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout, and that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us! Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain. I'm sorry we had to give you such I'm a sorry, dangerous I'm job, the but there's really no one else we could have asked. You're but I'm scared of the doggy. <sighs> that's what's called easy. Hey. Gramps has been feeling. Ah. <laughs> A pleasure as always, Koopa. I want to become strong just like you. Are you sure you want to fight? <laughs> Keep it 
together. Here goes. Put shit. If you're going. Hang back. That's it. Burn. This one's Don't for you. Overdo it. I'll take care of them. Get him. I'll catch that eye. Yeah. Sorry, but I gotta. Hey, you ready? I got this. Enough. Was never in doubt. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the King and his smelly friends! Thank you so much! Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes. Yes, Miss Folia. I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family, a real family in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well, then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. Want to know more? Then come to the hideout. Bet you didn't know that the smell of flowers helps nourish your heart. I need nourishment for my heart and my body. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired looking guy out by the community center. And I heard he was looking for some help. He doesn't see me. Be quiet. Well, what 
Do you think? Do I have what it takes? Oh, hey, Cloud. You're just in time for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're gonna make a special exception just for you. You'll never be any good unless you... Wanna play some...
Good to see you, Koopa. You'll be able to make all our hopes and dreams come true? Not just yours, Koopa. The wishes of every single person in the slums. It's a lot of wishes. Lots of people in Midgard love to collect Moogle medals, you know. They'll pay anything to get their hands on more. I'm using the money to set up more shops all throughout the slums, Koopa. I'm giving jobs to the other kids and making life better for everyone here. And that's how I'll make everyone happy. That's one way of doing it, Koopa. And I've got extra happiness for you two. So what's to stop us from selling directly to these collectors? Uh, Moogle Magic, Koopo? Next time, keep your plans to yourself. Thanks, you guys. By working together, I know we can make the world a happier place. a certain merc that's become the talk of the town? Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ugh. That rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain, but the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the work of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. Do I know the Guardian? Well, I don't know my far as I'm concerned. If that's not enough for you, the one you ought to talk to. Good to see you again, Murray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Murray. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Murray, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Hmm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the angel of the slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the whispered word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty the Chinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. 
Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? You could see the sky? Of course. You this here's the building. Sector 5 Community Center. <laughs> so, any news? Have you tried talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Marae? As in THE Marae? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how'd you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us! What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. A plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist model. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here, wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. I wish I could have helped build the place that really Did you know? This place is on. Finally got power. Sounds like you made a real Walmart bus folks. I I heard there's some well, around shit. Shit. Yeah. 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 Bring it. Stay back! It's over. And we're safe. I'm waiting. <laughs> 
Maybe this will help. offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell him what we found. I can't believe it! You found one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it, pinned by the angel herself! Hmm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find! Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the Angel. A warning! If the Merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. <laughs> no harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. 
Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip off Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's bucket. <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pay sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. Let's try and jump. Try taking after Aerith. Here to go when I came. When is it gonna get dark around here? Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. You Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. All right. No need to give up. Stay back. Anytime now. <laughs> Get him! Gotta get a little payback for my partner. Come on then. Bang! I see you. Get him! So um, first class. Stay back! Look <laughs> Coming! You'll get peep eyes. Hang back. <laughs> Try me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you had enough yet? No. I don't believe that I have. Man, it's my job. Then think about changing careers. Cloud's 
pretty strong, isn't it? <laughs> I've seen this type before. You don't know me. There, shit! Keep it together. Here goes. What the? How's that payback working out? For you? Oh, you can do it. Better than expected. Let's do that. Too easy. I'll show you what I can do. Stay strong, okay? I thought you didn't want to get up. No, but this is self-defense. I'm trying, but... Take it off. Yeah. That is all. needed on standby for a job at something about uh, Sector 7. So get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Wait a sec. So, you coming? Talking to the Shh. So, yeah, it was that kind of day. <sighs> Let's go. Shouldn't keep mom waiting. Hey, what'd they say? Good work today, guys. Kidding. They didn't say a word. But, you know... Uh... Never
never mind. It's not like you'd believe me after all. Hmm. Probably not. Oh. Tell me anyway. Really? Yeah. It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. Something they need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. But before they can, there's a final step that has to be taken. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Could have fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? <laughs> okay, time to go. Learn to talk to her. Did the flower say anything? Uh, good work today, guys? <laughs> That's the spirit! You're heading in already? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? Uh. <sighs> I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow and tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. <sighs> hmm. Don't want to overstay my welcome. What are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. Did you have a bad dream? Don't worry, you'll feel much better in the morning. 
and I promise to take you straight home. Uh, okay. <sighs> Please don't let her hear me again. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. I'll try not to spin everything. 